Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I'm going to be reacting to um, the Asian Beauty Filter. Wow, I cannot read. <laughs> the Asian Beauty Filter Plastic Surgeons of TikTok. Um, I saw this on YouTube. I watched another video like a few days ago. Um, I forgot the channel. Some guy, I forgot his name. But um, he was talking about this surgeon. I guess he's in China. And he like the surgery on these people some of them look like cats and some of them they look like super duper younger than their age i don't know how he does it but like in the comments people were like his he needs to get his license revoked or whatever but i don't know if people know what he's doing and he's getting a lot of clients because they like what he does i don't see like why he would have to get his license revoked if that's what people want then that's what people are gonna get that's what people are going to spend their money on. So, um, I don't know. Everyone has their own preference. So, I guess if they like it, then they like it. But I guess for us, we wouldn't ever do that. So, it's kind of weird to us. But for them, I guess they want it. So, it's up to the person that's getting the surgery if they want it or not. It's not like he botched them. It's like they wanted it. But anyway, let me stop talking. Let's get into the video. And please subscribe. Let me know what else I should react to in the comments below. <clears throat> Morning, welcome back. Plastic surgery used to feel like a really big milestone in someone's life. Now it seems like we've normalized beauty procedures to the point of them being on par with a trip to the dentist. A little numbing in your gums, a little in your forehead, oh and a little bit for me too. I'm only exaggerating. A little bit. But someone talking about beauty standards or obsessing over the new mob wife, clean girl, chimera ant aesthetic is quite common now. These issues with beauty are never completely black or white. It's more of a confusing English essay than multiple choice. But one thing's for sure, the cosmetic okay, so procedure that's the before. industry is busier than ever. I had a realization a few days ago, sure plastic surgeons are booked and busy, but the evil plastic surgeons? Well, they work even harder. I say evil very loosely. Maybe the word chaotic neutral is a better descriptor. Dr. Kim, or Jisoo16, no relation to Blackpink's Jisoo, is a plastic surgeon that blew up on TikTok recently after showcasing his work specifically with facelifts. A cosmetic surgical procedure to create a younger look in the face. It's a popular procedure. Um, with that, that was a light surgery. The ones that he does your skin loses a lot stronger. Loose and doesn't snap back as easily. During a facelift, a flap of skin on each side of the face is pulled back and addresses issues like sagging of the cheeks, excess skin at the lower jawline, deep skin folds from the sides of the nose to the corner of the mouth. <laughs> Basically, if you tape the sides of your face to the back of your head, that's like 10% of what a facelift will do. So this is before, no tension. <laughs> Dang, she looks younger already. Yeah, there it goes. It's a lot more pulled, obviously. Looks for that. That. Without surgery, that looks really good. <laughs> but uh, does that not hurt? I think, yeah. After his content started going viral, the audience had a thought. Maybe Dr. Kim Jisoo is in a silly, goofy mood and this isn't his main job. He's just doing facelifts for fun because these results... Wait, why are they hiding the Something's afters? <laughs> a little off. When I first stumbled onto the side of TikTok, Wait. I vowed to never use this app again before bed. Before... Maybe Dr. Kim Jisoo... Before they showed this close-up, they showed, the audience had like... Yeah. After his con Oh, so that's what she looks like. See, she looks super young, right? Like she doesn't like fifty six. Well, she doesn't. She looks good for her age, but um, this looks like she's in her twenties or something. And um, I feel like this is not even like finished healing maybe still swollen or whatever i don't know but that is a huge difference but i actually this one is not as bad as the other ones i've seen well bad um this looks like if i didn't see the before i would just think she got like eyelid surgery or i don't know but this doesn't look that bad in this picture started going viral the <coughs> audience had a thought Maybe it's Dr. not looking like the same person at all in a silly goofy mood and this isn't his main job he's just doing facelifts for fun because these results look something but why are they blurred when i first stumbled onto the side one, of TikTok, really showed it. i vowed to never use this app again before bed tell me why this popped up on my for you page unprovoked Oh, wait a second. Not the K-drama OST. Let me just, uh, not ruin this song for myself. Don't really want these images appearing in my head every time I listen to this song. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, these are huge differences. But if this is what they want, then like that's what they want. Like we can't really complain, can we? <laughs> it's their body. But um, yes, uh, they don't look like the same person, and they do look a lot younger. See, after seven days, like I wonder what they look like when they're done healing. I never jolted awake so fast. You think a package I ordered an hour ago just arrived. This was the TikTok that started my deep dive into this account. It got so much stranger the more I looked into it. His clientele is mostly Asian women around the middle age mark between their late 30s and 60s. It looks so different. A more youthful appearance. That sounds pretty reasonable. As with any surgery, there's always a risk. Doing your own research is the most important thing, especially when going with someone you found through social media. QT surgeon 111 might have a better track record. Uh, like I said before, is their body they can Faces do whatever in general whatever are they want safe if your surgeon so why is not <laughs> but this from an outside perspective if you don't want it don't get it concerning these days i don't even know what's real anymore at first i thought this was a troll account using ai beauty filters you know the ones that make you look like an uncanny version of yourself i even zoomed in to see if i could catch the filter slipping like when you're doing a live stream and the beauty filter starts glitching You got caught. Oh. oh, honestly, that's what I would do too. If I can't like, see I don't, I don't understand. Like, why are you gonna use a filter while you're eating? Of course, it's gonna change. The food's gonna cover your mouth or something. It's gonna glitch. But um, now that we've seen your face, like, does it really matter? You still need the filter. Like, we could tell that you had the filter on in the first place. So, I don't know. You, you can't see me. But yeah, the before and afters, they look pretty real. The visual of this uncanny assembly line is not good to look at for too long. Don't want to be too critical of anyone because these are real people. But I am very unsettled. Did I lock my door? The year literally just started and we already have so many insane memories to look back on. It feels like I just blinked. Where did the last 365 days go? Looking back at 2023, I realized I was super overwhelmed at times because I said yes to way too many um, things. Probably <clears throat> wasn't the healthiest for my brain. What's for happening? For this new year, I'm hoping to prioritize learning new things, being less stressed, oh, so, um, and reaching out more often instead Ed, of staying home. If you want to um, help That's him out, support him, click the link in his description. You can go to his video. His video is linked in my description. So you can check him out. Um, I'm going to skip this part, but if you want to help him out, go to his video investigated this account and reached out to book a surgery to see if this was legit he was actually able to get a consultation for his fake wife oh yeah that's the guy that i saw talking about this first a potential after photo it would cost around five thousand for the surgery including airport pickup and accommodations in china kind of a steal in my opinion considering a facelift in north america will cost closer to 10k some places will do your surgery give you a cup of tylenol and meds and make you uber home there were videos of the surgeon who would do the operation which for some reason wasn't um also, plastic surgery in Asia is, like, more welcome. It's, like, more common. Like, it's not as taboo in America. Like, in America, people try to keep it secret from everyone. And it's, like, why? Like, people can tell. Well, some people can tell. If it's good surgery, some people can't tell. But, um, yeah, I don't know why it's so taboo in America to get plastic surgery. But in Asia, like, you see people all walking around with bandages, bandages on their nose, like, their head is rap because they just got like surgery and stuff like i guess it's kind of um a status thing in asia because i live in korea right now i don't know i don't know if it's like a status thing or whatever but um yeah it's more open in asia to get plastic surgery so um i guess they like they're fine with doing all these surgeries and stuff and being posted online but like in america i don't think you would ever see anyone like walking around with their bandages because they don't want people to know i feel like they would let people know or they would like come out of their house after they're done healing they wouldn't go out in public with their bandages on their face i don't know dr kim because i don't know why it's so taboo in america like account. if you're gonna do it do it it's your buddy just like a regular guy <laughs> <laughs> who's that in the corner <laughs> But these videos, like, these are on, aren't these on TikTok or whatever? So why are the videos, their faces being covered? I'm confused. <laughs> that is Dr. If it's already Lee public, to didn't them, they the agree to be on surgeries. the internet? They literally told me. That's what they told me. <laughs> there is a potential face. You know, I'm only going to say allegedly. I'm not going to fully accuse him. 
but allegedly this is the guy that did everything that's doing all those botched surgeries there is a face to that man in this. but it's not botched if that's what people want like just because it's not normal to you um i don't think you should call it botched because that's what they want and that's what they like like their their face actually looks like that right now so i wouldn't call it botched because they that's what they want like botched surgery for me is like um like i think you need to get the surgery done again because they didn't do it right but he did it right for them because that's what they wanted and that's how they want to look this is him there's a pretty high chance these surgeons and patients are the real deal it'd be way too much effort to fake this and for what tiktok views the information they're providing on their socials though might be something worth looking into the most startling thing about this tiktok account are the supposed results people's faces are pulled back so far that they found a completely new face underneath um yeah she looks a lot different But her eyes are kind of still there. It's just the shape is a lot different. Back in the day, I used to have really long hair, almost touching my lower back. I would pull all of it back, tie it into a bun, and plop it on the top of my head and call it a day, because I hated having hair in my face. Why did I grow up my hair so long? That was probably dumb. If you're familiar with tight hairstyles, buns will give you some of the worst migraines in your life. Although, I did automatically start mewing and doing hunter eyes every time, so that was cool. This, however, looks a little bit more than a cute tension headache. When your face is suddenly so tight, can you even blink normally when your eyes are stretched past their limit? I feel like it'd be hard for them to close their eyes all the way. Eye drops better come included with that. Oh no, they're not blinking, so... <laughs> I don't know if they can blink. Oh, she's blinking. The goal of a facelift is to look younger, so I'll give him that. His patients do look younger in the sense that they have no visible wrinkles now, and maybe ever in the foreseeable future. Everyone's got the classic, you have big eyes, small face, I like it, type of look that's popular in Asia. Maybe we overshot a little bit with the anti-aging though, because this 43-year-old lady looks like a child slash grown adult <coughs> hybrid. Dr. Kim is also operating on people well into their retirement age. Complications during- Actually, some of these afters really don't look that bad to me and their history of health i'd say it's pretty common though to like, feel concerned for someone who could be my grandma oh no we're just not used to it but special. okay okay so this one did we she just see doesn't the wanification of grandma. You do have to admit, human. it's pretty impressive he's able to get rid of all signs of aging. Except for the fact there's probably, allegedly, a bit of smoothing and snow app filter going on. You see how her pores just stop at her forehead and cheeks? Don't think they put this 76-year-old lady in a full face of smoothing primer and makeup right after surgery. Unless they went extra tight on this facelift and all her pores got uh, some of them the after is another don't strange look thing. That bad to me. Several of these TikTok accounts, why JJ407 7, Liang Oxer 2 that post very similar content with the same formula, <coughs> the same shocking results, and the same great taste everyone loves. And I think I recognize some familiar faces. Uh oh, I think I spent too much time here. I, I become a regular at this establishment. Wait a minute. Dr. Kim? I know it's you. For some reason, there's text saying YJ Hospital Korea now. The last time I checked, China and Korea are different countries. As an Asian person, I'm like 70% sure. Either our 76-year-old grandma got two different facelifts on the same day in two different parts of Asia, or it's the same person making different accounts to farm engagement. Or maybe they have a clinic in Korea and they're trying to, um... They're try just showing no, what they sir, did in China not an after result. for no the Korean that is not the truth. That's not the branch. Truth, this is the There's something flying around. Recovery after getting your facial features rearranged like a Mr. Potato Head. Dr. Kim tends but to that last girl right that they showed, they roll off the um, table. she was no, too swollen. I think they should have like taken a video of her. To a week is not enough time for all your swelling and bruising to go down. How does she have eyeliner like after surgery bright. already? I'd say that most people in their Are she supposed to wait before you put makeup on? Facelift don't look like they got their face pulled back an hour ago like Ariana Grande putting her hair up in a high pony 
except with her face. You won't see the <coughs> final results for months until everything's settled down and healed. The most important thing is that these people are healthy and happy with the results. Well, are they? We don't know, because we haven't seen anyone speak on their personal experience after getting Dr. Kimmed. I'm kind of invested in- Um, I'm pretty sure they're happy with the results because they went to him in the first place. They saw his work, like why would you go to someone? Like, don't they show you their work before? Like, I'm pretty sure they saw his work. They're like, oh, I want that. I'm pretty sure they're happy with the result if they if they saw his work and went to him to get a surgery done. Even if they don't say it, like, these people aren't famous. They're just living their normal lives. But um, I'm pretty sure they're happy with it because they went to him in the first place. <laughs> Seeing what someone looks like a year from after they got their procedure done. This patient actually looks a lot better compared to other ones, probably because she got two weeks to recover and wasn't thrown into a photo shoot right after her surgery. Facelifts are quite yeah, the popular Yeah, like most of these pictures that they showed are like a week after, so it's nice to see Is like Russian? I them to heal see other after, after, right after to see the final look, it was just as the final as final look. Kim's. I look at the photos now and I feel like I look at least 10 years younger. I feel like I'm in my 40s. I just turned 60 a month ago, but I feel like I look late See, 40s. you just needed to give it time to heal. <laughs> yeah, everyone looks awful during the healing process. If they posted their patients' faces around the two to seven day mark and called it results, facelift sales would plummet. And like, I don't know why they one, get three don't free. post Once an updated picture. It looks pretty natural. Like two months after or something. These Asian TikTok accounts with the dramatic before and after. It's just shock marketing to get impressions to drive business. But is this the most effective way if you're not showing the final results? Well, I don't know. Some people might find these faces attractive. Like, I've seen some comments interested in getting this done. Naturally, gravity makes everything sag. Cosmetics, mewing, and gua sha can only do so much. Damn you, Isaac Newton. Sometimes going under the knife is the only way to get the results you want. Accepting the way you look is probably the best thing for everyone, but easier said than done, right? Yeah, it's easy to tell people they don't need plastic surgery and they look fine the way they are, but in a society that treats anyone above the age of 40 as a senile senior citizen, especially women, it's hard not to think you'd have a better life if you look just a little bit younger. It's common for plastic surgeons to do consultations where they'll tell you, oh, did you know the right side of your face is two degrees lower than the left side? Were you born with a crooked eye? Because, um, uh, some eye. people, like no a lot of people, have yeah, crooked so noses, but I feel like every good looking person that I've seen has a crooked nose. Yeah. Is that yeah. weird? Is that just me? <laughs> Am I the only one that noticed that? <laughs> We're typically born with facial features that complement one another. Once you tweak something, it can throw off the balance of your other facial features. So these surgeons try to help keep things in check by suggesting other procedures to blend things together in a sense. I mean, they do make extra money the more procedures they can sell you, so make of that what you will. The thing I've noticed with Dr. Kim's surgeries, he seems to do the exact same look on every single one of his patients. Sure, he's working on different faces and they technically do look different from each other, but everyone ends up kind of looking the same. There's no more character or uniqueness to these faces anymore. If you go on Douyin or use the Snow app and played around with the beauty filters, these but, facial um, proportions are typically like, what you'd see. The same eyes, like the before, same skin, I think they the need to um, Big eyes, small face, show the skin. final final like result like two or three the months is after healing. And if they're AI generated or not. It's definitely not as intense, but it's like the gist of what these surgeries are trying to achieve. I don't know if he operates on other faces other than Asian ones very often, but he did a facelift on a 51 year old man from Spain. He looks like a cat, but I want to see the final final result. Now, they definitely weren't before. And that's all I have to say on this. Hopefully he looks better after some recovery time. Like I said before, everyone he operates on does look younger to a degree. But if you showed me a screenshot of all these patients, I would barely be able to tell that these are different people. I don't think wantification works on every face type. We're noticing it a lot more on social media. People are starting to look the same. The economy's at an all-time low and beauty standards are at an all-time high. It's like an echo chamber. When you're only shown three or four types of faces that are considered attractive, it's gonna be really hard to not be influenced. Plastic surgery is never gonna be a one-size-fits-all. Everything surrounding it will be a spectrum of, well, yes, well, actually, no. Well, sort of kind of. It's easy to look at this and think, he ruined their faces, no more license for him. These patients might actually be happy with the results. Like, I'm sure they'll eventually look better based on the fact that...
You know what? I'm just making stuff up. This whole thing has overstimulated my fight or flight response. I just need to move on. Moral of the story, do your research before committing to anything permanent, especially with your body. Anyone have something I can watch or play to get my mind off of this? No one is meant to see this many plastic surgery aftermaths unless you're training to be a plastic surgeon. And not to be the guy that picks on people's looks. But the YouTube algorithm? It's starting to look saggy. So Fee did a facelift by giving this video a like. YouTube's already 18 years old. Can't wait to see its fresh new three-year-old face. As always, your engagement lets me pop up. And some of these people don't even look bad like her, like in the beginning. Before the surgery, they don't even look bad. Like her face isn't that saggy enough to get a facelift. But I don't know. It's up to you. It's your body. Do whatever you want. Like if you're not used to it, you're going to think it's weird because you would never do it. But is their body so they can do whatever they want if they have the money why not and um yeah i want to see like the after aftermath like three months after healing because they probably look normal i don't know and also um asia they're like more comfortable with plastic surgery getting it done and i also heard a story before i don't know if it's true or not but um i heard that uh chinese man sued his chinese wife or ex-wife because she had so much plastic surgery and he didn't know, I guess. So um, they had a kid together and I guess the kid didn't look like the way he thought it would look. And then he found out that his wife had a lot of plastic surgery and she didn't actually look like that. So that's why he sued her. And I think he won. Uh, that's what I heard. I don't know if it's a real story. It's from like a few years ago, a long time ago. But um, yeah, I guess if you are planning on dating someone... You should probably let them know that you got plastic surgery. I don't know. I feel like if you're close enough to date someone, then you should probably tell them everything. I don't know. But um, anyway, that is the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Let me know what else I should react to in the comments below. And if you want to see my experiences in Korea, you, sh <laughs> you can check out my first channel, Sexy V. And if you want to see my other socials, it's right here under my face. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.